Hey guys, Matt here with another quick tutorial showing how you can easily sculpt a sphere from a man. I've had a lot of you guys on my YouTube channel asking me to upload another uh, sculpt to a sphere. Uh, I've done a couple of them already on my YouTube channel, so I figured this would be a good time to sort of upload another one. Uh, so to begin, uh, we're going to need to start uh, with a, uh, a figure and we're going to uh, dynamesh this pretty low just because we don't need a lot of these forms uh, just yet. Let's take our trim dynamic brush and let's just start taking out some of the just take out some of the detail. So let's just start really carving this in. Um, we're not going to really need that face or really the head either. Just sort of like really start hacking away at this thing. Um, the, uh, the legs, they're kind of a tricky part. Um, because you can, you know, we can just lob them off. That's not really part of the challenge of, you know, making a, a good clean sphere. So what I like to do is I, again, just like take that trim dynamic brush. Uh, and we're we're going to start to sort of like flatten things out up towards the, up towards the legs. You know, really start to, to carve them in. And then we're going to take that, that move tool. And let's just start smushing. Just start smushing it up. Just really start to really start to, to, to combine these forms, you know, and, and here I'm like, I'm, I'm watching the volume, you know, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to go too crazy, uh, with anything just yet. Um, here, here we have kind of a, an interesting one. Uh, so the figure we started with has sort of like an empty, uh, negative space, um, here. And, and, and we don't really want to like, we don't want to kind of like, like, you know, exclude the, the arms from the sphere, right? We kind of want to use this all together. So I'm just going to go here. Uh, I'm going to press brush, you know, I, N, or go with the inflate brush. And let's just like, let's just close up. Let's just close up this negative space here. Okay. And let's just, uh, you know, reprocess the Dynamesh for that. So that's, you know, uh, having Dynamesh on, you're just going to, you know, hit control and then drag off and that should reprocess your Dynamesh mesh. Okay, and now with that volume closed, it's actually, uh, you know, we're going to go back to our trim dynamic brush, and it should be fairly simple. Uh, I'm carving now in. Um, I haven't forgotten about the back. I will get, I will absolutely get back to the back. Uh, here, I'm just kind of using just large, just large, heavy strokes. Um, this trim dynamic brush is really, really fun. Uh, you know, you can, you can do a lot with it. Uh, it creates a, a really beautiful sort of plane. Uh, you know, if you if you press hard, um, but it also can be used additively uh, by hitting Alt. You can kind of add a uh, sort of a flat plane, and that's kind of nice too. Because then what you can do is start to you know go around your model and start to define sort of the, the planes, you know, of the, of the sphere, um, and and just start to really kind of combine it all together. Okay, so let's let's touch the back. We've been kind of like avoiding it. It's a real. It's a kind of a complicated area. So let's. Let's hit the uh, you know brush I N. I'm gonna inflate here. I'm just gonna keep inflating. Just keep inflating. Let me maybe a little bit more. Maybe not lose the volume down. It's really important to kind of preserve the uh, the volume of this. Okay. Um, so now we're kind of at a good point. Uh, where we can start using uh, Z brushes built into formers to sort of help us along. Um, so here I'm going to go to Deformer, and there's a great little Deformer um, called Spherize. Uh, so I want to make sure that uh, X, Y, and Z are all checked here. Uh, and so I'm going to start to drag this Spherized. Uh, and it's going to uh, sort of begin to, you know, uh, bring that sphere shape sort of back. Here we go. Let's keep going. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. We're almost there. Um, okay, so from here, I'm just going to Dynamesh it. Again, Control, Drag, and then I'm going to uh, just Trim Dynamic Brush uh, this a little bit more, kind of smoothing it out because I'm, I'm not liking sort of how the volumes are here. I'm also not liking sort of all this like patterning down below, so I'm going to smooth this out um, using the Smooth Brush just so that we have um, just something a little cleaner. Just a little bit cleaner. So we're having a little bit of an oblong shape here. Let's take that move tool. Let's take that move tool. Let's move that in a little bit. Let's move that in. Let's really check. You know, I, I like actually checking um, a lot of times, uh, you know, the, the silhouette on uh, some of these materials. Um, so usually in ZBrush, you can, you can have like a silhouette um, checker in the corner and stuff like that. I find it's really easy. Um, to sort of have a uh, color uh, black and white sort of mapped. So um, if you hit spacebar, 
uh, you can kind of click one of these colors and sort of drag it up to white or black. And then by hitting V, you can kind of quickly shift between the two. Um, and that to me has just been a really easy way of, of getting that, that silhouette uh, preview just really quickly. And it's nice too, cause it's on the model itself. You have to like look up top corner, see like a different window. Um, okay. So we're almost here. So we're going to go back to the, we're going to go back to the, uh, defor uh, deformation tab and we're going to just pull spherize a little bit more, maybe even like one, two more times. Yeah, good. Okay. Two more times. Let's smooth this out. Uh, dynamesh it one more time. And maybe, maybe even one more, maybe even one more. Yeah. You know, you can take your time with this. I mean, you could, you could make this sphere, you know, as perfect as you want. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so let's just keep going a little bit more. I'm going to, I'm going to trim dynamic up just a couple more of these planes, a couple more of these edges, uh, and then hit, hit that one more time. That sphere has one more time. Um, and I think... Yeah, I think that's, I think that's about it. I think that's that that'll about do it. I think that's as good a sphere as I want to do for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a like if you did, and make sure to subscribe for more. Thanks.